Hello, good morning. How's it going? Going good on the home front. I uh, haven't been on here since the last time I was on here. I was getting better from being sick. <clears throat> it's been a while. I just been busy. I've just been busy. I've been so busy. I don't know how many vlogs I'm going to be able to make because. I'm just busy all the time. So, got my dogs a rug yesterday. I got a throw rug that I could throw down. Went out with my daughter yesterday because her kids are out of school Friday. So, we went out one last go out with us before kids are home for the summer. So, I don't know what my summer's going to be like. <clears throat> But I know that when when them babies are home for the summer, I have a tendency to go over there quite a bit so I can see them. So, not that it's going to matter because they are just getting old enough now to where they want to run. It's like, hi, Grandma, bye, Grandma, see you later. So, yep, they're getting to be that age. That's okay. We've all been there. Anyway, <clears throat> I got me some new shirts. This is one of them. I like this thing right here. But I got me, I got three different colors, patterns, whatever. Because I like, I got to dress it. It's kind of in this thing, kind of thing. <clears throat> Put it on and I thought, it makes me look old. So, well, you know what? I'm 56. So, I am old. Or, more mature. Uh, found these at Ulta's. Hard, hard to find my shade. So, I think when I get all done with those, I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm going to go back to this. Because this is easier to find. I like this stuff better. But this is easier to find. And I like them both. So, Anyway, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. I've been wearing this palette. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. Uh, been working on my house, getting it organized the way I want it. Got my paint picked out for my bathroom and my living room and my bedroom. So we just have to go get them. Got my puppies playing. As long as day is being good, that's all I care about. I had to tie my hair up this morning. I was up at 5 30. I was up, but I wasn't out of bed. I got some of that shampoo called Monday. It's called Monday, it's in a pink bottle. And I used it on my hair the other day because I'm looking for something in the store. And those shampoo and conditioners I told you about before they didn't they worked the co-wash stuff makes my hair really soft even when I'm washing it, it makes it soft but you know the next day it's just the same as it's dried out again now I know that gray hair gives you texture my hair's not completely gray not yet so uh, it's still got quite a bit of color most of it is underneath but it's got quite a bit of color. It is my natural color. I did not, it's not from hair color. I put color in my hair, I don't know, four or five years ago? A long time ago. And so that's not it. I did get some of this. Oop. Some of this. And then this. They work really well together with the Monday shampoo that I got. I think I'm going to get rid of all the rest of my stuff that I currently can't use. I can't, I don't even, I wouldn't even use it to shave my legs because now I own a razor, an electric razor that makes my legs so baby but smooth. Anyway, I felt that hair fall. 
anyway so I think <laughs> I'm going to uh, I like the Monday stuff I do so I think that's what we're going to be using my husband says well wait until you get use it enough to know because you do that with other shampoos and then they don't work and, on and, on. and I agreed with him because I'm the one that brought it up first and but I've used it three times already and all three times I've had it's been good I wish they had it in co-wash I wish they had it in uh, well, I'm going to have to get some more of this I wish they had it in the co-wash and I wish they had it in uh they leave it the you know the conditioner you put in your hair and you let it deep conditioner I feel like they're pulling my hair so but they don't so I'm not going anywhere I don't care what I look like so deep conditioner is out I'll have to find something that I can use for that I also have Uh, this Milani hard to find it's mechanical but uh, it's a coal eyeliner as opposed to, and it's gel but as opposed to the 24 hour stay ons that fall off I found out because they're waterproof and your eyes they're meant to repel water so they make your eyes water make all the slide off this does not stay on all day it says 24 hours they're full of baloney but when you do put it on it does stay along the eye line where your eyelashes are so even when it does wear off your eye line it still looks like you got some on it is meant for the water line and the tight line it is meant for that so <clears throat> anyway so that's what I bought, and I like it. I like it better than the other stuff, than the, you know, the waterproof stay on stuff. So that's what we've been currently using. And for anybody who does makeup that's just curious, that I've been watching a lot of vlogs to figure out how can I get something has not constantly going to fall off my eyeballs and make me look like a raccoon by the end of the day. Coal. It doesn't have to be Milani. I've had some that's CoverGirl too, but it's coal eyeliner. So it says coal, you know, eyeliner right on it. This is Milani's Super Coals something. I don't know what the last name is. My reading skills are. But yeah, that's what it is. It is by Milani. And I like it. And I'll continue to buy it. I, I have I have some that's by CoverGirl too. But when I was watching the reviews, they were talking about Milani saying, the, you know, which is really hard to find. And I've been, you know, you know how I told you that I've been in one of the vlogs, I was saying how I had an eyeliner sharpener and every time I went to sharpen my eyeliners I just spent more time shop sharpening them down than using it than actually being able to use them and all it was really doing was just I'm just wasting money on it well I found another sharpener the other day <clears throat> that I have and I went to use it just to see what would happen sharpen it like a brand new pencil so the eyeliner, the eye sharpener that I got from Alta's, I got because their eyeliner crayons that I don't even use anymore have a big side to them. That one has a big side to it. And the regular eyeliner sharpeners for eye stuff wasn't working for um, the crayons because the crayons were too big. So I had to get that one. So I thought, well, that's cool because I needed a new eyeliner sharpener anyway. So I went and got that, and that's the trouble I've been having with my eyeliners ever since. Well, I got another eyeliner out that I've had for a while, and 
So the one I got from Ulta that's an Ulta brand doesn't work worth crap. But the other one that I had and I sharpened it and made it brand new, <clears throat> it's an elf sharpener. It's a dual sharpener too. It's an elf sharpener. So now if I get pencils, I can I don't have a problem with it because it sharpens some puppies like they're brand new. I like it. So I went I know I already had one. <laughs> But selfish me, I went and bought another one. But I don't know where it's at right off, but I went and bought another one. I'm going to go through this drawer and get rid of a lot of stuff. Okay, this is my uh, well, look, I'll show you. Hold up. See, this is my drawer. And it's just full of all kinds of stuff. There's stuff in here that's, you know, new. But then i got other stuff buried down here that's, <clears throat> you know, like my eyes, like my eyeshadows. There's stuff way back there that don't even need to be in there. So, so I'm going to go through that door one day. But so far I've been going through other stuff. Other than that, it just holds all the new stuff. I got two of these. That's the sound of full, full products. I just opened this one last night because I had one like this one, and I put my I put my drops in there, and I used about all I can use, and I just couldn't use it anymore. It was pretty much gone. So I was scrimping and scraping. You better. What are you chewing up? Stop getting into my stuff. Ah. Oh. You know, that's nothing. I'll show you something. Yesterday, they were underneath my chair. You know what they were doing? Chewing on this. I've come a long way in having patience. I really have. And that's because I have dogs that teach me patience. Yes, I do. Anyway, I got some dishes to do today. Not a lot, just a little bit. Have a little bit of laundry that I'm doing. Got to work on my husband's shop clothes so he doesn't cry that he doesn't have any. <laughs> yeah, no, man. <laughs> nah. He needs them done. He wears them. They're, they're dirty. No big deal. I took the laundry down. Well, my husband took the laundry downstairs. I got up, I got up early today. For me, it was early. I have been awake since, well that's going to be annoying, but I'm sorry. I have been up awake since 5.30 and I got up at 7 because why not? I don't want to stay in bed all day. I got up and I went and took, went down and sorted out my laundry and got some started. I left my dogs in the kennel because I don't want them to think it's okay to get up real early because then they put it into a routine and then they want to do it all the time and I don't get up all the time early. So anyway, they stayed in their kennel till about, I don't know, almost eight o'clock, about eight o'clock, somewhere around there. They stayed in their kennel and then I went in and got them out because I think I heard Charlie whining down when I was downstairs. I'm not for sure. But nonetheless, I went and got them out, brought them upstairs, or brought them. They don't even sleep downstairs. I sleep in my room. I went and got them up and put them out. And we started our day early today. So I got my second load of clothes in the washer. I like getting up early. It's just. I have an issue with, sometimes I have an issue with sleeping at night. I don't really have an issue with sleeping at night as much as I have just trying to stay asleep. You know, I don't think when you get older, you need quite as much rest. I don't think you do. Because if you did, I would sleep more. But I can stay up until midnight. Not because I want to, but because I can't sleep. 
And I can get up at 5.30 if I wanted to. Now, how long would that last if I was doing it on a day-to-day -day basis? <laughs> Probably not long. But, oh well. I went up to, got me some lotion yesterday. I had to go up and get some more body cream. My daughter says, you know, Mom, that's body cream that you're picking out. And I said, yes. So that's what I want. It works better than the lotion. So I went and got some body cream last night, or yesterday, while we was out. And then I went to uh, I know I'm not tired. Went to Hobby Lobby, had some outside solar lanterns that I liked. So I thought, oh, let's get two of them. They were originally $50 on sale for $25. So I got some, and I got a couple of 4th of July decorations because I like 4th of July. And I got those, and I went home last night. I put them up on the house. I got a hair on me or something. Put them up on the house, and I liked it. So I thought, you know, I told my husband, I said, I like that well enough. Maybe I'll take the other one because I bought two. I bought one to put out in the front yard and one to put on my pool deck. And I seen it, I thought it looked good. And I, I told, like I told my daughter, I said, I'd like to get one for the pool deck, but I'm never going to see it because I ain't ever out there at nighttime because my husband doesn't want to go out there and sit with me. I mean, I'll go out and sit by myself. If it gets nice enough, I'll just take my wine and go out there and sit myself because I'm going to decorate up that pool area and when I'm done it's going to have some lighting on it and when it does I'm going to go out and enjoy it during the summer and if he doesn't want to that's fine I'll just do it myself but uh, I bought a, two of them and I have two hooks on the front of the house so I thought oh, that looks so cute I want to put the other one up so I'm going to go out there in a little while when I get it together and put my other one up. So, I think it would be so cute. And then you can watch them. They're set. They're just pretty. I love outside decorations. I do. I just do. So, I got my <clears throat> kitchen not organized, but I got it cleared out. I got my living room pretty much organized just needs its everyday cleaning yesterday I worked on the entryway and got rid of a bunch of stuff that was there because it just seems like everything got thrown behind the door and I don't like it so I just want organization organization is what I want so uh, what's doing Charlie what's doing Benny Benny if you don't stay out of my stuff, I will put your butt in the kennel. That is a no-no. Get out of there. Where they're finding them, I don't know. Must be hidden places on the floor that I don't know about. But anyway, and the floor's clean, so I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I cleaned the entryway. I brought up my stand yesterday. I've been trying to tell my husband to get some stuff out of there, out of out of the entryway, and he wouldn't do it. So he's just, he, I don't think he remembers because he just gets so overwhelmed with stuff that, you know, just working all the time. So I cleaned it up and he come home last night. <laughs> the look on his face just says it all. So I told him, I said, how do you like how, you never realized how big the entryway is till you got all that junk out of there, did you? I said, did you like the entryway? And he said, yep. Yeah, well, if you like it, don't throw stuff back down in it. But, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice that you I think, and we're going to lay our, he's got some wood floor downstairs. So we're going to lay some wood floor, ask him if he could put it up on the steps too. And he said, if, if you know, he would. Hopefully there will be enough of it you can do. It. 
Are you done? Are you done barking? I tell you what, this little dog is such a toddler. He is. I love him. He's another one that's taught me patience. Yes, I've come a long way going to church, reading my Bible, and coming a long way from where I was in a short amount of time. My husband the other day was putting in a new screen in the window, and he put it, he got it, it's a put together screen, so he put it together and put it in the window, because the other screen just kept falling forward, because way back when we were younger and we had a family living at home, we did our own makeshifts, you know, a homemade screen, you buy them at the store and you make them, and you cut them to size them and put them in, but we were doing that because, you know, at that time, that was the cheapest way to go. So we did that, and so he did it again. I asked him if he could do it again, and he did. And this came out being, uh, it bows, the frame bows. So he got a little upset, and I was asking him questions. He says, he's gonna buy a new window. I says, are you, are you serious? And he says, yep, but he was, Everything I was asking him, he was kind of copping an attitude with. And I asked him what was wrong, and he says, nothing. And he's just copping an attitude. Like, okay. So, I asked him if he was upset. He says, no. He was. So, I said, are you going to buy one window at a time for each window? And he says, maybe. Well, that right there just told me he had an attitude. Normally, when he takes an attitude, that will throw me into a bad mood because his attitude, you know, somebody gets around, you get around somebody, their attitude tends to rub off. For some reason at this point in time, I didn't feel irritated as much as I just felt bad. It's almost like he just made me feel bad. So I didn't really have an attitude towards him. I just, and I don't know if I felt, if he made me feel bad as much as I just felt bad because he was upset. But I wasn't upset with him. But I did look at him and say, well, you know, you can go to the bedroom now. Because that's where he likes to hide out. And, but it just really got me. But you know, I've been reading my Bible a lot. And I've been doing it for almost a year. And I've been, uh, I mean, I read it every stinking night. And I, you know, I don't pray as much as I should, but I do talk to my father a lot. And, you know, whenever there's a problem, I always tell him, not that he doesn't already know, but, you know, who's the best person to vent on than to talk to Jesus? You know, talk to your Lord when you're having a problem, you know, that you don't really want to vent on somebody else for. You know, I just, just talk to God, you know. So, uh, you know, and then I have this little book in my room beside my bed that says God's Promises. And then there's just places in the Bible that you can read, but it tells you a little bit of stuff that he promised, and then it shows you where you can find it in the Bible. But I've just been reading, because I read my Bible at night, and then I try to get to that stuff before it starts to hurt my eyes, because reading too long will bother my eyes. So <clears throat> I, read some, I read some of that, and I listen to my praise and worship. I try to get some time in with my Lord, you know, I don't try, I, I do, and probably, I know not as much as I should, but I do, you know, anyway, more than I did, and there's a, that's a starting point, you know, and uh, I talk to him, there's this song that says, you know, talk to God like you was his kid, and so I do, and I've been doing a lot more interacting with things. Um, 
because I sit at church and I'm sitting there thinking, well, they're doing that. I want to do that too. So I try to maybe into myself. I do it in my in my own head, but I am trying to interact and, and engage and do stuff. And it's just taken me further and further. I don't have this. I'm. I just don't have the attitudes that I've had before. So you know, I'm just. God can do a lot for you. You know, if you just lean on Him and not let the world bother you, He can do a lot more for you. But faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the Word of God. So if you want to hear God talk to you and you want to interact with Him, you need to read your Bible and you need to get to know Him. Because the Bible also says, My people are destroyed for their lack of knowledge. So you have to, you know, it would be very wise to learn some scriptures in the Bible. I learn them because I've been going to church for a while. I'm reading it. I'm learning it. I was reading in my Bible the other day and I read the story of David and I've read, you know, stuff before, but some of that stuff you never think about and I never thought about it. And then that was just, it was just an interesting story. It caught my attention. And so I just, you know, I don't know. I love my Bible. And I have this book that we're reading in Connect Group that we actually got from church, so it was a freebie, so I'm glad for that. And I don't have favorite books. My Bible is the only one that's my favorite book, it's the only one I ever really read, it's the only one I really ever cared about. And when I started reading this book for Connect Group, it's called uh, Tongues. And it is really interesting. That is my favorite, my very first favorite book that is not just Bible, you know, just the Bible. You know, the Bible was my only favorite book. This is another favorite that I've just found recently, you know. It's my first favorite book that is not the Bible, but it is Bible based. Because there's scriptures out. Everything I read is Bible based. So it was so good. I even got one for my daughter. And so she reads it. But yeah, it's and she's not even in our connector. <laughs> but it was just that good and I wanted her to have it. And since it was free, I got it for her. But even if it wasn't free, I probably would have still bought it for her. But anyway. It's good. It's good. So, oh yeah, this is better. Not so hard to get it on my eyelashes. I was wearing false eyelashes. I don't think I like them. I just, I don't, I guess I don't, I don't know that if I don't understand them or what, but I wore them for one day and I was good with it. After that, I tried to wear them again. Didn't like it. They bothered me. They made my eyes water constantly, and I just didn't like it. I like this stuff, though. However, I don't do the sky high stuff anymore. This would be the stuff I'd wear. It is the stuff I'm wearing. So, I mean, it's from the same family. It's from the same family. It's just, this is Lash Sensation on the other Sky High, but it's from the same family. Anyway. So, I mean, my life has really changed in a short amount of time. Things that used to bother me, I just really could care less. Doesn't phase me in the least, doesn't bother me in the least, I don't really care. I set my eyes on Jesus, that's where I keep it. I think about him on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to be careful with my words and what I say. When I do something wrong, I'm quick to repent because I don't want to upset him. You know. I don't care if any of people get offended. I don't want to offend anyone. But if they get offended by something I say, that has anything to do with Jesus, well, that's, you know, that's their conviction because, you know, if you're offended by it, then maybe there's something going on that, you 
you know, you should be talking to God about it. <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyway. It's a nice day out. My daughter's air conditioner was broke. She got it fixed. And now I feel better because she's all comfy. She was, she had some dental work done, so she was in a lot of pain anyway. And then to be without an air conditioner probably didn't help. You know. So. Yep. It don't take me long to get makeup on. I've been doing it for so long. My brother's coming down this weekend, as far as I know. Normally, I would go get him. But for starters, he hasn't called me. You don't call me, I don't go get you. I don't come get you through a third party. If you want to come down, you call me. Secondly, My mom's going to have to go get him because my husband's already done said he wants to ride the motorcycle this weekend. He wants to take off on the bike. So, just so that she's aware, so that she don't get upset later or anything, it's bike riding season. There's probably going to be a lot of times that he's going to want to take off on the bike. And so she's probably going to have to go get him throughout most of the summer. Unless we take the car. If we take the car out, then, you know, and he wants to come down, then I'll go pick him up. Because there's no point in her being out there if I'm going, if we're going out and I can just pick him up. But, you know, other than that, uh, she's going to have to do it during the summer. Hopefully she don't get upset about that, but it's her son, <laughs> so, so, but I hope she don't get upset about it, because I don't want to upset her, you know, I love my mom, I just don't like it when she gets upset, I don't like it when anybody gets upset, I'm cleaning my mirror on my, I'm cleaning my makeup mirror, because I spray stuff all over it, I spray stuff on my face and it gets on my mirror I spray you know I spray hairspray and it sticks to my mirror and then I put my face stuff on and my spray on my face when I'm done and it got on my mirror and for some reason it hit me you got the stuff just clean your mirror so then you gotta clean it all the time I'm telling you all the time anyway I'm all done my hair is a mess. I don't really care because I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to be home all day long. So I don't care. I'm going to wear some of this too because it smells really good. So anyway, I'm going to be done now. So I'm going to talk to you later. I got things I got to go get done now. So. Until I see you again, read your Bible, pray to God. I love you. I'll talk to you later, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.